Hey guys, and welcome to Fear here. My name is Hayek. This game is pretty good actually. It's a mix between kind of Hearthstone and Magic the Gathering and a little bit like Settlers of Catan, kind of. You like place tiles and put creatures on there and it's kind of really strategic. You'll see, I'm sure, in like later videos. Also, I've only just noticed that like there's a dragon going all the way around. That's really awesome. But yes. There, there will be future videos and I will be playing games and I'm really bad. But for this one, I thought I would do a little bit of boost opening for your enjoyment. Got myself 20 boosters here, so hopefully I get something pretty awesome. Now the deck that I'm mostly focusing on at the moment is the fire deck, but I'm pretty sure I'll... Uh, probably shift to like water or air because that's usually my kind of thing that's pretty good I got my ass kicked by a couple of them ooh I like that mountain okay that also is really good oh man all these cards are really good I got three rares holy shit uh, oasis cool cool I'm actually really happy with that booster pack, holy shit. Let's have a look. I got a purple. Wow. Okay, so. Soulbound Sagami. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Runin Shrine. Whenever any damage would be dealt to you or a creature you control, it's dealt to the structure instead. Oh, yeah. That actually would be. Oh, man. See, now I'm thinking of making a forest deck because of that. What's this one? Seafus fodder. So that would go well in my fire deck. <laughs> and they're awesome. And they're alright. Oh shit, I've got some good cards. This is not always for my particular deck that I've got at the moment. Ultra of Souls, rare. Like, very rare. Uh, activate, deal 2 damage to yourself and add a 6 1 Sorting Shadow. In your hand for cost one. Yeah, okay. Could do some healing, but yeah, that's that's pretty cool. I didn't realise this game had like activate cards, but now I do. Hate seed costs one less for each creature of higher attack than life you've summoned. Mm -hmm. Whenever a friendly creature dies, a random creature in your hand gets plus one plus one. Freedom Fighter and jump. Can move up to two spaces, jumping over anything in this way. Ah. See, that's the thing that, um, you know, um, Mag Magic the Gathering and um, Warcraft and Hearthstone doesn't have because obviously it doesn't have um, a grid to play play cards on. That's really cool. But it ha this has everything else. It has like, um, it has haste and it has charge and it has, I don't think it has first strike yet, but it will do at some point, I'm sure. Okay, cool. Oh, no, I don't know hate seed. Um, where's my rare? That's my rare. Right. Uh, Windborn emissary, flying. Which I think is really cool. I mean, I thought flying would mean that enemies can't attack me because I'm flying, but it's not not the case in this game. Is that you can just move around on any grid, regardless of land, and lack of it. Plus plus two plus two. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, Law Thief, choose one, gain... Oh, yes. That... See, then, this is why I want to make a water deck, because of cards like this. Really expensive, though. Uh, last words, add a random green card. Yeah, I've got I've got some of them already. And... Shaitan Scavenger. Cost two less if you attack the god this turn. Hmm. I want to make a water deck, but... I need a lot more of that card. And a lot more cards like that. Okay, let's have a look. Give a creature protection. Yeah, yeah. Oh, here we go. Spell whirl. Add two random blue cards. Oh, see? I also like chaos, but I know that doesn't win games, but whatever. Uh, plus two German turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You again. And you again. See, I got, oh, cool. I'm getting a few of them now, so I can probably make a good air deck. Or desert deck, whatever you want to say.
Just looking at the symbols. I don't see any rares. I'm guessing that's the rare one. Then. Okay, right. So, uh, Eridon, voice for all of all. All creatures in your deck and hand gain plus one plus one. I saw someone play that against me. That seemed really broken. Uh, Lord of the Wastes. You may sacrifice another creature to gain three. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty good. Make like a like a magic magic the gathering swamp deck with that kind of thing. That's another thing that's different is this only has four elements, which is cool, as opposed to magic, which has five. Give a creature protection. Cool. Awesome. Steam forge. Got some spare ones of those now. Cutthroat bandit. Yeah. Uh, yep, that's pretty good. Got two purples this time. Desert twist to teleport a creature to to a desert you control. For zero. Oh yeah. And punishment deal two damage to a creature if it's neutral. If it's a neutral creature, deal five. Oh, I see. So if it doesn't have like an element. That's really good. That has to go in one of my decks. See, I need to get cards like that, because there's a tournament coming up. And I've only played, like, I think, four PvP games, and I've won one of them, so, you know, obviously I need to practice doing that. And the tournament's coming up in, like, what, six days, or whatever? And I'll fail hor horribly, but I want to get in there at least. Yes, I've got a Lore Thief. Demon Wing, good. Da -da -da. Oh, that's pretty cool. So if I did like a if I did like a forest um, mountain deck, that thing would be really, really like, really strong. Can only be someone adjacent to you. That's cool, because I do that a lot actually. I summon creatures near me when I'm getting ganked, which happens. A lot. I think the issue that I'm having is I'm playing a rush deck with with like mountains or fire. And I don't think that's my style. What's this one? Sky Captain, whenever you draw a flying creature against oh Whenever you draw, that's really good, especially if my deck is made of like flying creatures, holy shit. If your opponent has ten life or less, gain plus two plus two. See, so fire is all about taking advantage and rushing, and when they're weak, they become weaker and yeah. And I've already seen those guys. Cool. Halfway now guys. Oridium Fanatic, move creature. Okay. That's cool. And my rare is the Therian Golem. Mm, yeah. Okay. Oh, bloody hell. They're almost all rare this time. Okay, so I've got a Blood Obelisk, which sounds awesome. Oh, do you, oh look at the art. Cool. What do you do? Whenever an enemy creature dies in combat, deal one damage to your opponent in game. Oh, yes. I want that for my fire deck. I want more of them. What else do we have here? Uh, a Shadim Pest or Shadim Pest. Gift gets plus two plus two of another creature with... Yeah, so if you're favoring attack over that life. Cool. Spirit of Rebirth. Whenever a friendly creature dies... Yeah, yeah. Random creature... Oh. Yeah. That's like the um, the Kobold Lord, except it's plus one, plus one. And him, yeah. He's good. On my turn, he's stronger. One rare. Yeah. Gift of Steel. I think I've got enough of them now. Is this creature has less than five long? Okay. Put production, so every turn. That's cool. So it eventually gets up to a 5-5. Five five. I haven't got any view yet, I don't think. So, well, apart from the ones you get from beating the game. The tutorial, guys. Oh, Windstorm Colossus. Hello. Look at that. Cost one less for each event you've played. Events? I don't think I've even seen many events. Like, not many at all. I'm guessing they mean, like, spells and stuff. And Lord of the Wastes. Oh, yeah. But I've not played anywhere near enough of this game to get any idea of the meta. I just played a couple of games and I think it's really fun just to play, you know? Like, with Hearthstone it can feel a bit of a chore, but this one it feels a little bit like you're playing um, like a strategy game as well. Like, you know how you can get addicted to playing like Age of Mythology? Because it's just fun to play and just like, you know, just build stuff. It's kind of like that, I think. Which is good, I think, in a game. Falcon Duck. Yep. 
I could do more of them, I think, just in case. I, I believe you probably start with a full set of three, but I don't know. Uh, Living Willow, Taunt, uh, Cartographer, create a lake, forest, mountain, and a desert at random. Yeah, actually, I think I probably want loads of them in my deck, just for the hell of it, maybe. And that, that's really cool. Okay, holy shit, two purples. Right, Earthcraft. Draw a card and choose one. Oh, create a forest. Oh, that's really good. See, that would go into my water deck as well, even though it's Earth, like forest, because you draw a card and you get to do something else. Holy shit. That's really good. Flame Burst, I've got one of them already, so now I have two. Water Elemental. Yep. That's a good point, actually. I'm not seeing any the Fire Elementals. I mean, a Fire Elemental would be like, you know, presumably something like a 4-2 for 4 summon, like, create a, create a mountain, but I haven't seen one yet. Blood Singer, I've got a full set of them already. They're really good. They won me a couple games, but mostly against NPCs. And Kaleem's Follower. Does more damage against gods. Yeah. Zephyr's Fodder, last words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Windfall. Game 12. So, pay 9, gain 12. That's... Probably needs to be balanced. That's a bit weird. Why couldn't it be a zero cost gain three? Hmm. That's weird. But okay. Uh, oh, Wind Soldier. Oh, that's a guy and a cat. Holy shit, yeah. Charge three, which means they can charge three spaces in the line. Uh, Weeping Idol. Whenever you are dealt damage, gain one. Yeah, it's not great, but yeah. And another, oh, another cartographer. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I want to make use of those cartographers. I mean, it is random land, and it could potentially like create paths to um, weak points. But still, holy shit! Uh, healing song, draw a card, gain for life. That needs to be in one of my good decks. The thing about the tournament is you actually have to submit three decks, and they all have to be pretty good because um, one of them is your primary deck, and I imagine that you might want to switch to the other decks if your opponent absolutely kicked your ass. But you can't like make three decks which are similar like the, the maximum number of a card you can have is three so like say that like the um like a death wish ghoul there i could have three of them in my primary deck and i couldn't have any more in my other decks for example which i think is kind of cool it means that all the decks can be different and probably a completely different element as well uh wisdom draw to cards yes please uh cool awesome Feed the forest, destroy a friendly creature to gain fairy equal to its life and draw a card. Mm, yeah, that's alright. I don't know if I agree with that, but that cost, but yeah. Oh, look at that mystic beast. Oh, oh it looks so cute. Oh. Like an axolotl. Uh, gift gets plus two, plus two, and charge two if your opponent has ten or uh, uh, fairy or more. Okay, okay, yeah. As your wisp, whenever you gather fairy from an opponent's well, gain plus one plus one. Cool. Uh, got some of them already, but apparently they're really, really rare, I didn't realise. And another lore thief, so now I've got a set of three if I want to use them. Cool. If I didn't already. Let's do some crafting at some point now. Okay, Prophet of the Tides. Move a land. Move a land twice. So... Okay, so I can move one land, two spaces. That's really cool. And it should be a lot higher in rarity than that, I would have thought. Another Warlord. Air Elemental. Royal Judge. Choose one. Add a safeguard to your hand. It costs zero. Or add a punishment to your hand. It costs zero. Okay. I've seen cards like that in, um, in Hearthstone, and I used them before. So, um, Triton Sanctuary. And if you gather fairy, this structure gains plus one life. Activate, destroy this, and gain fairy. Oh, yeah. That's such a magic gathering card. Holy shit, yeah. Oh, God, I don't want to do now. Like, fire deck, or water deck, or... Oh, shit. Let's have a good look. And the steam forge, sure. Snowstorm Lancer. Whenever you play an event... I don't see many event cards, actually, but... And it has a limit. Alright, I suppose, fair enough. Extra damage against guards, gift of steel, and create two forests at random. Yeah, see, that's good for a forest deck. Holy shit, yes. 
And finally, guys, da 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 da. I get two purples. Holy shit! Okay, possessed Ursus. Whenever this creature is dealt damage, its power doubled. That that one power doubled. Okay, so I could potentially try and hurt it, maybe. Ancient boy, if you control a creature of five life or more, yep. Oh, look at this guy. He's a mixed card. Not seen one of them before. Scourge Flame Spectre. Flying haste charge to combat. Deal three damage to your opponent. Wow. And Cuffet Brandon difficult. Cool. Holy shit. Got some good cards. I mean, when I first started playing this game, I got the feeling that, like, all the cards that you um, start with were like, that was it. That's all there was in the game. Like, I thought, like, all the ones you get from this, I thought, you know, that was it. Which I thought, that was pretty cool, you know? I liked having, like, a nice, small, finite kind of group of cards to play with, and you know what to expect. And then I started noticing that as I opened packs and played against other players, there were cards I didn't see before, so that's really awesome. I'm glad that there are, there's a much bigger pool of cards to play with than I, than I first thought. And... I, I like the deck builder because I like this kind of like it's like easy to go boop, 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 there that's my deck and then you can also go into it in more depth and go actually I want more of these and I want more of these but I also want less of these and yeah so so cool but yeah um very very new to Feria really really loving it though um I've entered the of you know I need to register my decks and stuff for the cup but I've uh, registered for it I just need to actually make my decks and sort them out. Which means I probably need to play more games and buy more stuff, buy more boosters. But yeah, this is Feria. I will be doing more videos. Uh, probably me failing against PvP and doing some Pandora. I don't know what the rules of Pandora are, but I've got some tickets to play, so I'll probably be doing them as well. I'd imagine it's similar to Hearthstone, so like you'll be, you'll be given like you know a pool of cards. And you know, pick one, pass one around, etc., etc., etc. So that will be fairly balanced in that respect. It won't like rely on me having like a million booster packs. But I will check the rules on that. But I think that's what it is. Uh, that'll be fun. And yeah, holy shit, that is an awesome dragon. Look at that. Wow. But yes, thank you for watching, guys. And I will see you on the next video. Goodbye.